Hi friends, my name's Julie Washington and I am the pastor of ACF Kids. This is Wednesday, June 3rd, and this is your ACF Daily Devotional. It is a pleasure to be with you guys today. And what I wanted to share with you today is something we've been diving into in ACF Kids. And that is we've been talking about determination and we've been looking at the book of Acts and some of the heroes of our faith that have shown us what it looks like to have determination in our faith and in our everyday lives. And this week we talked about Stephen and I found his story to really fascinate me by the faith and the way that he pursued what God had for him uh, despite the trouble that he faced. And so if you wanna read the whole story of Stephen, you can find it in Acts chapter six and seven. And it's truly an amazing story. But basically Stephen has gotten appointed to be kind of like a deacon in the church, in the early church. The disciples have realized that they don't have enough bandwidth to serve all the people that need help and to preach the gospel. And so they named seven guys to be these deacons that will serve the church and serve the needs of the church. And Stephen becomes one of those. And Stephen is described as a man who is full of faith and full of the Holy Spirit in Acts chapter six, verse five. And they say that, you know, he was so full of God's spirit. And so he begins to serve the people. He begins to preach God's word to them and to serve their needs and to help them in numerous ways. And as he's doing this, he begins to make the religious leaders mad. And so they call him in and they begin to ask him questions and they kind of just get madder and madder. They even call in some witnesses to falsely accuse him of saying things against the temple, of saying things against Moses. And so Stephen uses the entire chapter of Acts 7 to just lay out um, who God is to the religious leaders of the day. And he spends 60 verses in chapter 7 saying, look, I want you to think about Abraham. I want you to think about Joseph and all of our fathers, our, the tribe fathers. I want you to think about Moses. I want you to think about King David and his son, King Solomon. And he begins to say, look, all these people, they faced all these heartaches. They faced all these troubles. And yet God continually came through for them. Like, look how he rescued Abraham. Look how he rescued Joseph and made him second in command. Look how he rescued Moses and how he used Moses to rescue the entire Hebrew nation out of Egypt. And he begins to explain to them, look, you know, we have this word of God. He had the Old Testament. He said, I have all these stories that prove to me who God is and what he has done for his people. And he says to them, but the thing is, you guys, every time God sends someone to testify to his goodness and his faithfulness, every time he sends a prophet, you guys torture them and you resist them and you push them away and you silence them. And he says, you even did that with Jesus. God sent Jesus to share his love and his grace and his forgiveness with the world. And you guys crucified him and you killed him. And even Jesus triumphed over that and, and he rose again. And so Stephen is just kind of going off on the religious leaders and telling them, look, you guys always try to silence those who want to tell the truth of God. And it never works. And he's like, you never accomplish it, but you try to silence these prophets. And he says, you know what? It's not going to work this time either. And so as he's saying all that in Acts chapter seven, verse 54, this is what it says. It says, when they heard this, they were furious, gnashed their teeth at him. But Stephen, full of the Holy Spirit, looked up to heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing at the right hand of God. And he said, look, I see heaven open and the son of man standing at the right hand of God. And at this, they covered their ears and yelling at the top of their lungs, they all rushed at him, dragged him out of the city and began to stone him. And at the end of this, Stephen looks up to heaven and he says, Lord, receive my spirit and forgive these men for what they're doing. And the thing that strikes me so much about Stephen is Stephen kept going. No matter what trouble came to him as he's testifying, as he's ministering, he kept going. It didn't look good. Even early on as he's telling them these stories, you can tell these guys are not um, changing their minds. 
Things are not looking good for Stephen. And yet Stephen kept going because he knew what God's word said to him about how the story ended. And he said, you know what? I have all of scripture that tells me every time someone's in trouble, God rescues them. God comes through for them. And I am trusting that for my life too. And I am trusting that no matter how this ends today, that God has a very good plan for what he's going to do. And what we know from the book of Acts is that the death of Stephen was the catalyst for the believers scattering all over the world and beginning to share the gospel outside of the city of Jerusalem. Because of Stephen and the persecution he received and the persecution that began to be heaped upon the church in Jerusalem, those believers scattered and they started, they started sharing the gospel all over the world. And so what I think we can learn from Stephen is that God understands what tomorrow holds. He knows the end of the story. He's not surprised by our circumstances or our difficulty or our seemingly impossible situations. And he's gonna come through and he's gonna make it so that the end of the story brings him glory, brings our good, um, cares for us. Now, ultimately Stephen dies, but he goes to heaven and he lives forever with Jesus. And so his story ends pretty well. And ultimately the gospel is shared all over the world because of his decision to keep going and to keep preaching the gospel, even when things got hard. So today I want to encourage you to remember what God's word says, that he always comes through, that he always keeps his promises, that he holds the tomorrows in his hand and he is making a way for his glory to be shared and for your good, for your good to come true. And so I hope you will remember that today, friends. Have a great day.